Hey guys and welcome back. So apparently there's a lot of fuss about uh, Windows 11 and privacy and AI and all of those good things. But even now, when most of us have like 32 gigs of memory, someone has 64, someone maybe 120 and so on and so on. Um, sometimes we get into problems when the memory is not enough for what we are doing. Maybe we're playing some games or rendering some video we're just we don't like to close our home tabs and we have like hundreds of them and we're just running out of the memory so for this quick video i wanted to really show you a couple of uh, cases how you can make sure that uh, you don't run out of the memory and you find a way how to save it so starting with the first one the first option is straightforward. The only thing that we need to do is type in your start settings. Then you will find here on the left side apps tab. And we are looking for the startup. Those are basically the apps that start automatically when you sign into your Windows. And believe it or not, but with time, you get quite a lot of uh, garbage on your Windows, which is just irrelevantly eating up the memory. So I would recommend to sort them by startup impact and then just go through all of the applications that you have here as example i used uTorrent only once to download something and by default it is staying as always on when i restart my system so i'll just turn it off and go through all of the applications that you have and turn off everything that you don't need anymore and a hint number two is obviously disable the Windows services that you do not use. So to do that, just start typing services. You will find the services underneath the system. And here is going to be a pretty wide list of all sort everything that you have. As example, like there's uh, Xbox Live Authorization Manager running. In my case, I don't use anything from the Xbox, Xbox on my computer. So that's probably the good candidate that I would want to disable. And to do that, just uh, click on the properties. First of all, you can stop it and then startup type, you can change it to disable. So this would be to stop the service and startup type make it disabled therefore next time when you restart your computer or just turn it on this service is not gonna um, start by itself or start whenever some other application runs it or you can just group by status which are running and go through all of the services that you clearly know you don't need because be careful uh, sometimes you might be looking on something and thinking that that's something I do not need, while actually that service might be crucial for your Windows to operate properly. Next thing, obviously just delete all the garbage that you have on your computer. To do that, uh, go to your, uh, sorry, go to your settings, again, to the applications, apps, uh, installed applications, and just look for everything that you, again, might not need, like... Uh, um, I don't know, uh, CurseForge as example, so three dots and click to uninstall it. The cleaner your computer is, the more likely it's going to run properly, not going to use all sort of the memory that you might be needing along the way for all of your other crucial applications. For the next thing, you know what else makes your computer slow and potentially also um, drain some memory, the viruses and the malware. So all of the bad stuff that might be sitting in your computer, the best way how to find it and solve it, if you have it, like you should actually have all of this on like virus and threat protection settings. And if you don't have any custom antivirus, if you don't, it doesn't mean that you need to go Google free anti antivirus and just download the first one that you will find. That's also a good way how to download something that you don't need on your computer um what you have with a windows 11 or 10 or, or 12 some after some time is like fully enough and you can just run a quick scan and it potentially will find all of the sneaky stuff sitting on your computer and then you can get rid of it and let's make the last one just keep your system up to date and to do that uh just type in a start updates and you will find check for updates make sure that there are no updates pending you can last check today uh 7 p.m so it's fine i am up to date if you are pending some of the systems some of the updates don't hesitate to actually install them on your computer because with all of those updates they're also coming some security patches and fixes and optimizations for some other stuff so it's just a good practice to keep your system patched as long as you can do that so 
that was about it about a quick recommendations and how you keep your windows 10 11 or maybe even 12 uh clean and tidy for a good resource consumption hope this was useful for someone thank you guys for watching and see you again later